hello guys and welcome back to my youtube channel in this video i will try to present you a new way for creating and importing components from another open source website in this case the website it's called uh, snap eda you can go to your google web browser and type it here snap eda enter to their website it's uh, mandatory to create an account to log in inside of snap eda website after that you can start you can search and start search parts through this uh, tab we have here some examples of parts for example, we can check these parts from the Texas Instruments. We have here the symbol. And the same thing like uh, the other website, the Ultra Librarian. When you go in the footprint on the pin number one, this is uh, also showed in the symbol you can check it here if a 3d model if it's available or not in our case this 3d model it's available if you need only the 3d model you can download it from here only the 3d model we have here the step file and if you want to download the footprint and symbol we can download it from here or if you need only the footprint you can download it only the footprint from here so we start to download the symbol and footprint for our project in our case the program uses Altium the symbol was downloaded here we will extract the files the files the compiled library is available here you can take it and bring to your Altium program and here a prompt message will appear and you can install the library or extract the sources in our case we execute extract sources and we wait a few seconds and now we have symbol and the footprint available and ready to be used in your project or to add in your database or in your local libraries or in your server libraries or depends on the on your utility you can also modify the symbol if you don't like for example this color if you want to, to put it blue and you can change also the color for this line style or you can modify over the symbol if you don't like it 
this how disappear can change the grid switch to millimeters This snap green, the default it's the minimum value it's 0 0.254. Now we can move this one for example because the symbol is not perfectly centered. Now looks more better than earlier. You have possibility to change to move all the the pins or to reuse the symbol you can simply copy and reuse to your local library can also check if the 3d model it's available in our case this 3d model is not available but we already download it so we will place it we go to the place 3d body and this is the model we can check the orientation it's not the correct one but uh, we can rotate oh sorry Here should be 90 degrees. Go back, hit 2, and put in the origin and check if everything is okay now. almost perfect a little bit down think it's okay like this because in some situations for pin through components the pins are not always the best one but in our case it looks everything it's okay and you can add it here the information about 
designator if you want on one mechanical layer and you can change it everything it's okay the key of the 3d model correspond with the square pad for pin one and also with the key from from the top overlay we can try to to look for another component for example uh, bus 28 diode we have to wait a few seconds we have uh, more manufacturer depends on, on your component you can select it we we will take this one from NXP and we will start the same process like before we have here the component We will bring here in multi. We will extract the sources, and this process took only 10 seconds. And now we have the symbol. It's not the the best one, but you can exchange it, or you can use only the footprint. With the footprint, it's the correct one. You can check it. All the the pads with the reference from the data sheets, and we can check also if the 3D model is present, and we will bring it, and we will place it to our print it looks also not in the correct position you can switch to the 3d model and we can try to rotate it on the axis and now it looks it's okay but some of the pins are inside of the pads so we must to go to this option double click on the 3d model and try to stand off height 3 millimeters oh, it's too much 1 millimeters to see what happens is also too much zero point twenty zero point five sorry okay I 
getting the correct number it's zero point three a little bit up Now everything looks okay, a little bit down. Yes, this is the correct number. See, everything is okay now. Or another possibility is to delete this one, place it again. Put it here, switch to the 3D model, and go to tools, 3D body placement, align face with bird. Select the 3D model. the correct position like this and now we have you have only to to take it and to put it here Now everything is almost okay. okay. Still have some small gaps here, but in this way you, you can align the 3D body with the footprint and only to reduce the stand of height. I hope uh, this uh, video could help you to reduce some time in this process of creating components. And uh, I wish you all the best and see you in the next videos. Bye bye.